I felt so embarrassed in my own body that I would run and hide whenever the cameras came out. And now I literally make a living putting myself in front of the camera because I feel like I have this sense of like owing this to the world because I have found such a place of happiness both internally and externally. Got a good thing coming. Okay, so it is time for a garage sweat session. Started out with just a few five pound dumbbells and a yoga mat. Here we are about a decade later having not used a gym in a decade because it's just so much more convenient and efficient. And I can get the same exercise here in less time. If I could recommend anything to you, it is to get a set of challenging dumbbells, something that you can lift with your arms, so maybe fives or tens, and something for your legs, maybe 15s, 20s to do lunges and squats with. One of my top tips is to do guided workouts. They keep you focused and engaged and doing the right things to get the right results. I'm gonna do about a 30 minute leg day, and then after that, I'm gonna pedal it out on my Peloton to get in a little cardio. I spend about 60 minutes in the garage, six days a week and I have one solid rest day where I do like active recovery like a super long walk. Let's get going, let's get sweaty and then I'll show you how I refuel. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick recovery protein shake. I don't do this every day, but I didn't eat pancakes today like I normally do because we didn't have enough left over. So that means I get to eat frozen bananas off the floor. A little scoop of vanilla, some warrior, splash of water, and one frozen banana. I should say on my very best days, which happen maybe once a month, I wake up super early and sneak out of the bedroom before anybody else wakes up. I start my morning with one of these quick, easy shakes, get out in the garage, come back in, and then make the full-blown breakfast with the green smoothie bowl, the pancakes, all that good stuff, the vitamins and supplements for everybody. So I'm kind of doing it in reverse because like I said, those mornings are rare, but that doesn't mean I don't get it done, even though it's extremely chaotic most days. I still get my workout in, I still get my green smoothie in because it matters, self-care matters, it's not selfish. It hurts to hear this, but a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, but, yeah, but, and I call them the yeah butters. Don't be a yeah butter. There are always excuses. There are always things that are gonna try and limit us, set us back, hold us back. Yeah, but my husband doesn't stay home with me. Yeah, but this or that. It doesn't matter. You have to get it in. You have to take care of yourself regardless of your circumstances. Don't be a yeah butter. You can either be a butter or you can be better. Okay, so before lunch, I'm gonna quick get ready. I am still using my herbal face food and Oliveda skincare. So I feed my face first with my herbal face food serum. And then after that, I go in with all of my Oliveda products. The cool thing about herbal face food is that it's so clean you could actually eat it if you wanted to. Not that you'd want to, but I love the red tint. I love the tingling, warming sensation it gives. If you guys are not familiar, I will link my free skincare masterclass video that is privately posted here on YouTube if you want to learn more about waterless skincare and why it is so cutting edge and so so critical for ultimate skincare.
The other thing that I'm super excited about with Olive Tree People is their makeup line, which is launching to consultants November 15th and to the public on December 1st. They're launching with 18 shades of their waterless skin tint based on hydroxytyrosol. So it's essentially no makeup makeup. It's gonna be a very like subtle difference on your skin and it's gonna be makeup that acts like skincare because it has skincare ingredients like hyaluronic acid and hydroxytyrosol. So extremely anti-aging, transformative for your skin, definitely. So these would make the perfect holiday gifts. In fact, Oliveda has incredible holiday gift sets. And if you join as a consultant, you can get 25 to 35% off every single purchase. And there's also the ability to earn 25 to 35% commission every time you share and sell Oliveda. I've just been loving my results so much with both my hair taking the internals and with my skin with the topicals. Look, who is that? <laughs> so I wanted to sit down and share with you my personal weight loss secrets that have helped me to basically get into the best shape of my life, even after having three kids. So I have not always looked like this. In fact, I very much derailed in college as many of us do. And there were so many poor lifestyle habits and choices I was making on a daily basis. And the first place I looked to that most people look to is exercise. I started exercising so hard in the gym Monday through Friday only to go back out on the weekends and overeat, drink, sleep in. It just became this vicious cycle of binging and then depriving and punishing myself for the poor choices I was making. At the time, I don't know why I felt like I deserved to feel good or look good when I wasn't doing good for my body, my mind, my spirit, any of that. So yes, I still exercise on a daily basis, but the actual better starting point, the more important thing is what's on your plate. What are you putting into your mouth? It happens multiple times a day and it can either help us or hinder us. It's as simple as that. Simply ask yourself every time you are about to sit down and eat, is what I'm about to eat going to help me or is it going to hinder me? Recently, one of my posts on TikTok, which I barely use, actually went viral. I got on and I had this influx of new followers and almost a million views on this video of Dusty and I showing how we went from this to this to this. And I know if you've been here for a while, you have seen these photos before. There is only a few of them because of the fact that I felt so embarrassed in my own body that I would run and hide whenever the cameras came out. And now I literally make a living putting myself in front of the camera because I feel like I have this sense of like, owing this to the world because I have found such a place of happiness both internally and externally. And there were a few comments on this post that were like, what's the difference? Or, oh, you looked better before, or you looked younger before. And first off, those pictures were about 15 to 20 years ago. So yes, I was younger, but also, what matters truly is that I didn't feel better. Everybody has their own opinion as to what body type looks best. So, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but what's most important is number one, I didn't feel my best. And number two, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't recognize myself. So that being said, what did I do to change? The first thing I did when it came to food was caloric restriction and deprivation. And I was doing the same roller coaster that I was doing with fitness. So at first I was working out, depriving myself. And then on the weekends I was not working out and I was binging. As I began to steer away from partying on the weekends and eating fast foods, I was still clinging tightly to that caloric restriction and that deprivation. So I was eating lean cuisines and fiber one and all these things that equated to about 1500 calories per day. And I just wasn't feeling great. The food was not enjoyable. And even though I had lost most of the weight, my digestion was still awful. My skin was not great. I still felt puffy and bloated a lot of the times, brain fog, lethargy, so the biggest change I had to make was using food as medicine in the form of whole unprocessed foods as close to their natural state as possible. So I'm talking fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, nuts, and seeds, mostly raw foods, 
in abundance. It seemed scary at first because I felt like all my life I had been told fruit will make you fat. And I had seen a handful of other YouTubers who had healed themselves by eating primarily fruits and vegetables. So I decided, okay, well, if they can do it, maybe I can do it too. And I've got nothing to lose because I'm feeling awful. Even though I lost the weight, I'm still feeling dense internally. So I decided to start trying it for myself. And lo and behold, I was eating heaps and heaps of fruit. I was not gaining that weight back. And on top of that, I was feeling this sense of levity and clarity inside. Eat, Move, Rest was actually birthed very early on in our journeys because we recognized there are literally only three things we have to do every single day that we could all be doing so much better. It's really about getting back to the basics. This has worked so well for us. In fact, we were approached by a major publishing company to write a book. HarperCollins came to us to write a book for them. It's on pre-sale now, so be sure to check it out because this truly works. We've created an online membership as well with a meal planner and recipe app, all of our ebook collection, workouts, and Zoom calls every week, monthly challenges where we eat, move, and rest our best. So all of this is here for you guys. Whether you like the vegan word or not, it's not about being vegan. It's about eating an abundance of whole and colorful living foods as close to their natural state as possible. I focus less on the calories and more on the colors. How many colors can you incorporate into your day-to-day -day life? A framework that I still follow to this day is a smoothie, a salad, and a soup or a stew. So the significance of each of these is the smoothie is a perfect way to load up your blender with tons of greens and nutrient dense superfoods like omega-3s from chia and flax and spirulina, which is very detoxifying and one of the highest plant sources of protein on the planet. The purpose of the salad is to incorporate an abundance of raw, living foods that you have to chew. So not just vegetables either, you can make fruit salads as well. And then dinner time, the soups and the stews. The purpose there is to incorporate an abundance of grounding root vegetables and other veggies as well, lentils, whole grains, beans, these are sustenance. These are the foods that the blue zones of the world are thriving on and living to 100 plus years old, which brings me to another point. This isn't just about weight loss, it is also about longevity. So you get a win-win with the plant-based diet. I went from eating 1500 calories of lean cuisines and sub sandwiches to almost 3000 calories of whole living plant foods. So number one, focus less on calories, more on colors, cut the crud, the processed food has got to go and you've got to get serious and honest with yourself. Am I really eating a plant-based diet? Am I really eating whole foods? Cut the processed crud, don't even bring it home. In order to make that possible, you have to be nourishing yourself before you're going to the grocery store. Because trust me, I've gone on plenty of grocery runs where I'm starving and ravenous and I always buy the things that aren't going to serve me. So cut the crud, focus on counting colors rather than calories, and focus on the framework of smoothies, salads, and soups or stews. It's gonna give you a very well-rounded day of eating. You'll be able to eat more calories, more fiber that's going to speed digestion. It's gonna to help to cleanse you out and flush you out. It's going to not just be feeding you, but feeding you at a cellular level. When it comes to movement, consistency is key. I have found the most success with guided at-home workouts. I know that I will get the job done if I can go out in the garage, do a workout and come back in as opposed to taking another, you know, 20 minute transit time to drive to a gym, get the workout done, probably visit with friends and take longer there than I would want to, and then come home. So that almost makes it into a two hour endeavor rather than a 40 minute to 60 minute endeavor that you could do at home. And there are so many great workout programs that I love to follow online. And I always use my dumbbells. I love resistance training because as you build muscle, it will burn fat simultaneously. And this continues to take place even after you finish your workout. And something I always do as well is make sure that my heart rate is elevated and that I am dripping in sweat. So those are really critical things you can ask yourself as you're exercising. Is my heart beating fast? 
Am I sweating? Exercise should be supplementing your super, super dialed in whole food plant-based diet. When you're exercising, you're probably only burning somewhere between 100 to 300 calories. It's less about like how much are you burning in the gym and is it gonna make you lose weight? But if you're doing it properly with resistance training and a little bit of cardiovascular exercise, it's going to boost your metabolism to help you burn calories more quickly and efficiently through the rest of your day. Last but not least, rest. Rest is really, really important. It's always the most overlooked, unfortunately, but when we are underslept, we tend to overeat. It increases those hunger hormones, leptin and ghrelin, which send signals to your body, to your brain saying, I need more, I'm still hungry. And it's a lot more difficult to use your self-control. So getting at least eight hours of sleep, going to bed well before midnight, because that's also going to impact hormonal health because your growth hormone is elevated at night while you're sleeping. And if you're staying awake and going to sleep too late, you're interfering with that whole process, which can cause weight to stick, especially in the abdomen, which another thing that rest helps is cortisol levels. So if you're feeling like you're in this constant low grade state of stress, your cortisol is continually elevated, which causes you to retain this little belly pooch that we all love so much. So make sure that you're going to bed at a reasonable hour and make sure that you're sleeping for six to eight hours. Focus first on the food and what's on your fork and be radically honest with yourself. That is the number one thing. There are no cheat days here and I'll tell you why. Because my gut has changed, my brain has changed, I've gotten the results which keeps me hungry for better and more. Be calorie conscious, not calorie consumed, focus less on calories and more on color and getting in those smoothies, salads, and soups and stews every single day, you will begin to rewire, you will begin to repopulate your gut with a healthy probiotic gut flora. You'll begin to rewire your brain and how you think about and look at food. Make sure that you're sweating. Make sure that your heart rate is elevated. Stay consistent and committed. I work out six days a week intensely for 60 minutes at a time. Do it at home. Do it with guided workouts. You have absolutely no excuses. Buy yourself a cute new Lululemon workout set. It works. It makes you feel amazing. And give yourself something to work towards. Maybe take a before photo, track your results after you do a guided workout program, take after photos, be proud of yourself, and most importantly, sleep. Do not slack on sleep because if you do, stress is elevated, cortisol is elevated, and ultimately you're gonna have a harder time saying no to cravings. There are no cheat days here, guys. We only get one chance to do this right. We only get one body. Your body is your home. If you don't take care of your home, where else are you going to live?